what happened, but suddenly it's late July and half the garden is still unplanted. Is it too late? This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Thankfully, there are tons of things you can still plant in the late summer. Bonus for me, it's raining. Perfect time to put some seeds in the ground. Two years ago, I learned that you could get a second crop of cucumbers if you planted them halfway through the summer. So as this spring's cucumbers start to finish up, we still have plenty of opportunities for pickles here. The other cool thing about later summer cucumbers is that cucumbers really don't like to be transplanted. So planting them from seeds at a time when they have a little bit more of a head start weather-wise is great all around. One great leafy green that really loves hot weather is shard. It also adds a pop of incredible color to the garden. So that's a fantastic thing to plant and fill in spaces that you have even between already established plants. Oliver's helping to make sure that the row gets pushed down after I've planted. Pro gardening tip, get a needy cat. You'll never have to worry about your seeds again. It's gonna be like the most crooked row of, row of cabbage that's ever been planted. We'll come back in. He's tamping down the soil for us, thank you so much. Anytime you're out working in the garden, be on the lookout for pests. I like to keep a little container here. Every time I find someone I don't want, I put them in there and then take them out to the chickens. I'm planting broccoli here behind where I planted the cabbage because with the sun coming from that way, the broccoli will get taller than the cabbage and everything will still get the sun that they need while using this space as efficiently as possible. Spots in the garden that have produce I'm about to pick are great places to plant new seeds because the foliage from the plants will shade the soil below, keeping it more moist, keeping it a little cooler. Those seeds will germinate, I'll pick this produce, and then there'll be plenty of access to sunlight as the plant grows. At the end of these rows where they have plenty of space is a great place to put these bush beans. They can grow out and bush out. With anything that bushes, I like to plant it in like a five on a dice so that you use the middle of the space and you use the space behind it. I also really like planting bush varieties of beans because especially if you've got a small garden, you don't have to trellis them. They're less work in general and they don't shade out plants behind them either. When I put in this garden, I left this bed completely unplanted and spots and all these other beds also empty, expecting to come right back and put stuff in. The summer totally got away from me and as you can see, the weeds have too. So I'm just going to, without removing these weeds, reclaim enough of the bed that I can get planting in it. Aside from helping us manage our nutrient levels in our soil, weeds can also help us when left in the garden because their roots actually keep moisture in the garden. And we wanna keep as much moisture in the garden as possible so that we have to water as little as possible. What I'm doing is using the weed whacker to knock them down so they don't go to seed and cause more weeds, but then I'm just gonna leave them there. Weeds are actually soil's attempt to fix itself. They bring up the nutrients that the topsoil needs, so why not use them to bring that into the garden? Now, I'm only pulling weeds that are actually encroaching on the space that we need here, and even then, I'm just tossing them aside. Come back in with the weed torch, maybe, and singe some of these roots once it's a little drier. In garden beds where weeds really have taken over, a great thing to plant is zucchini, because they get big leaves that will shade all of this stuff out and compete for sunlight. So really the only important thing as I plant this is just to remember to keep the weed pressure away from the seed until the plant is big enough to compete on its own. Some heat tolerant kale in here. My favorite part about gardening is the snacking. I love coming through the garden and snacking, picking things, and experiencing the miracles that are all around. This was a barren patch of land when I got started. It was clay and rock and dust, and I really didn't know if I was even gonna be able to get a garden growing, but this is pretty cool. 
The plants that I did get into the ground earlier in the season are starting to produce harvests, and that is something so special for so many reasons. Six months ago, my husband and I moved across the country after I'd been farming and gardening in Seattle for eight years, and here I'm very much starting over, trying new things. I've had some successes and some failures, but those failures make these successes so much more sweet. Every night when I'm finished working, I come out here and I pick stuff to cook for dinner. That allows us to eat fresh and know where our food comes from. I have extras that I'm able to give to neighbors and people in need. I have tons of cucumbers right now, so I'm doing a lot of pickling. Pickling is my very favorite. Pickles are life. I only like salty dill, no sugar pickles. Those are garbage. I absolutely love fried okra. I love okra pickles. Man, I want some fried okra so bad. Finally being able to grow it myself here is absolutely amazing. I planted an okra forest so that I can make sure to get all the good okra this season. Okra also has these really incredible flowers. Every time I share about my garden, I get a ton of questions about my favorite recipes utilizing my garden harvest. And to that end, I have put together a blog post on my Squarespace website that shares some of my family's favorite recipes. I've been using Squarespace to host my website since 2012 when I started my business. And it is a fantastic platform for people who aren't super tech savvy like me to be able to have beautiful artist designed templates to drag and drop whatever they want to post about online and present it beautifully to the world. If you'd like to host a photo gallery for potential clients or sell things online or even put some of your thoughts online on a blog, Squarespace is a fantastic place to do so. I personally use my Squarespace website to host my blog, to sell my merchandise, to sell my project plans, and to just have a place for people to find me when they're looking online. Head on over to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash trades for a 10% discount. Another thing to consider as I get ready to plant my late summer garden is that I might need to make space for some of these things that I'm planting. And a lot of the plants that we planted in early spring, early summer have now run their course. This arugula is starting to go to seed. I actually do save seeds in my garden, so I'll leave some of it to continue flowering and go through the entire seed making process, then I can take those later. But I certainly don't need this much arugula. So I will take some of these plants that have run their course and nothing ever goes to waste here. We'll take it and feed it to the animals. Hey ladies. Growing my own food is so important to me because then I don't have to rely on anyone else for my food and it gives me so much extra to share with my neighbors and the people that I love. All of the garden extras and the things that are past their prime that we give to the chickens make for so much better eggs. Hi everybody! You get a leaf? Here you go. Here you go. Hey, Milk Dad, here. This is for you. Milk Dad, are you too good for my kale? Are you too good for my kale? If you like this video and you'd like to see more like it, make sure you hit the subscribe button and check back for new videos every week. I will see you in the next video. Cheers! How about these tomatoes? Oh, this? Does that sound good to you? Oh, actually. That reminds me, there's another ripe one over here. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to have that in the bloops. Above my head? Yeah. It's like my halo. I think it's more like Remember? Linus. How dare you? <laughs> I showered Lucian to not having to spend a good night. I heard that. <laughs> Listen to the mandolin rain. Unbelievable. This whole video is just gonna be you chewing. You realize that, right? ASMR is huge.